feels like to feel left out, to feel out of place, to feel invisible, to feel unwelcomed. Many of us have been told, you're too young to make an impact. You're too old to do such things. You're not good enough. You're not what we're looking for. But the truth is, we don't see things the same. God sees us differently. We come from different age groups. We come from different walks of life. But we belong. We belong to a Christ-like generation. We belong to a transformed generation. We belong to a redeemed generation. We belong to Jesus' generation. As a church, we are believing for generations who are so in love with God, passionate people for the Lord. Join us this September 3 and 4 for our Jesus Generation Camp. Magpo kayo magpahuli, mag-sign up na po kayo. You are God. 
that you are with your family. Kahit hindi man yung, yung biological family mo ngayon, you are with your spiritual family in this place right now. So let's just thank God that we can be together in His presence at this moment, at this time, and we can just lift up His name because His name is the name above all names. Amen? Amen. His name is the greatest sa ating pong mga buhay. At naniniwala tayo sa oras na to na kayang-kaya tayong baguhin ng Panginoon. Kaya-kaya tayo na um, ayusin ng Panginoon sa mga iba't iba na mga nararanasan natin sa ating mga buhay. So I just encourage everyone right now, this moment is a a moment between you and God. So can we just all get a space right now? Pwede Amen. mo bang, pwede mo bang ano, layuan ng konti yung katawin mo? Yeah. Let's just get a little space and let's just set this time to be free to worship God. Sige, pwede tayong mag-spread out lamang sa oras na to, sa mga gilid po. You just get a space and um, just set this time with the Lord to be able to freely worship God because God really wants to encounter you sa oras po na ito. And let's just raise our hands to God right now. Sa ating pong pagtaas ng kamay, let's just reach out to His amazing love, His amazing presence in this place. Hallelujah. All it takes All it takes is one
let's just enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit right now. your presence right now for the presence of the Holy Spirit. Salamat Panginoon that there's just such, such a sweet aroma in this place, Lord. Napakabango ng iyo pong presensya, Panginoon, and it just infiltrates every part of us right now. It saturates us, God. It fills us, Lord. Bawat Bawat area, Panginoon, ng aming mga buhay, Lord, ng aming mga puso't isipan ngayon ay pinupuno mo, Panginoon, ng iyo pong presensya, ng iyong pagmamahal para sa amin, Lord. Not this moment, God, we just continue to acknowledge our need for you, Lord. You're all we need, God. You're all that we need, Lord Jesus. And so we, we came here, Lord, for you. We came here to encounter you. We came here, God, Lord, to seek you. But the side of the road, I hear you speak and won't let go. I fall to my knees as I lift my hands to pray. I got every reason to be here again. The Father's love that draws me in, and all my eyes want to see is a glimpse of you. All I need is you. All I need is you, Lord. Is you, Lord. All I need is you. All I need. Oh, 
Marami pong salamat, Panginoon, for your mighty presence right now. Thank you, God, Lord, that there's a promise for us, God. There's a promise, Lord, that you hold it all together for us, Lord. You hold the entire earth together. You hold everything on earth, Lord. You hold it all, God. It's all in your hands. That how that is how great you are. That is how mighty you are. That is how sovereign you are over everything, Jesus. And Lord, we just declare your greatness in this place right now, Lord. Kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa kadakilaan mo sa aming mga buhay. Lord, sa aming pong bansa at sa aming mga pamilya, Panginoon. Salamat, God. Lord, na ikaw ang makapangyarihan sa lahat, Panginoon. And so right now, God, we're just declaring that fear is being broken in the name of Jesus. Ano mang mga takot sa aming mga buhay? Ano mang mga doubts, Lord, sa aming mga isipan, Panginoon, right now, it is being broken in the name of Jesus. Salamat, God, Lord, na dahil sa iyo pong um, kalakihan, Panginoon, Lord, kami walang takot na humaharap sa amin pong mga buhay. Salamat, God, Lord, that it's you that we need. It's you that is all that we need, Lord, in our lives, God. And we just declare this one more time that you're all we need. Hallelujah. Yeah, come on, can we just sing this to God? Is all I need is you. And all I need is you, Lord. Is you, Lord. All I need is you. And all I need. declare this all together as a church Panginoon na Ikaw lang po ang aming kailangan sa aming mga buhay God Ikaw lamang Panginoon Jesus you're the only one that we are lifting up right now Lord and we are just so grateful for you we're thankful for your presence right now ngayon pa lang Lord nagpapasalamat na kami sa mga gagawin mo pa sa camp na ito at sa aming simbahan Lord in our fifth year anniversary, as we are celebrating together, we know, God, how, how faithful you have been in our lives, Lord. And we are so looking forward, God, because we know, Lord, that you are the God, Lord, who has um, started a good work in us. And you're faithful to finish everything that you have begun in our lives, God. Marami pong salamat. Come on, can we just praise God right now? Let's thank God for his goodness and his love. Hallelujah! Come on, 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 come 
Hi Church, thank you for joining us on our worship service today. We are glad to honor and praise the Lord with you. And as we continue to worship God through our giving, let us continue to allow our hearts to give Him the highest praise. Today, I want to share from the books of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 to 10. It says, Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. Then He will fill your barns with grain and your vats will overflow with good wine. Alam niyo po, the Proverbs were written by the one of the wisest men in the world. It is written by King Solomon. So, no mga panahon po na yon, he asked God for wisdom so that he could reign. And may kita po natin on how he have written ito pong Proverbs. May kita natin yung wisdom niya na galing kay Lord. And, you know, the wisest man lead us to this verse or write this verse na every time that we honor God with our wealth, then He will fill our barns with the with 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 grains and wines. So, no mga panahon po nila, yun po yung uh, one of the pleasures, one of the blessings that they consider having green and good wine. And alam ko po ngayon sa ating uh, sa ating panahon, maybe we consider wealth with the other things or iba na yung um, how we look like with wealth. Maybe it's good house or having a fine, uh, um, having money in the bank or having cars, you know. Alam niyo po, nung sinulat niya po ito, he is a king. So, he have money, he have the fame, he have the position. But yet, he, 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 he write on this verse or he write on this book, Proverbs, na the, the, the barns with grain, the the overflowing guy, uh, the overflowing good wine, the overflowing blessing. It comes when when we honor God with our wealth. The I know that some of us were really hardworking. Some of us were really wise in handling our finances. But the Bible says that the way for us to the the way for us to be blessed, the way for us for for our barns to to be filled, is not just through our hard work. It's not just through our knowledge on how to handle finances, how to do business well. But it says that the blessings comes from honoring God with our wealth. The multiplication comes when we honor and praise God with our wealth. And I believe He is the one who can protect our money even if it, if it even if it's in the bank. Alam niyo po maraming mga na o online scam ngayon. But you know when you have not just blessing from God, but when you but um, when you have protection from the Lord, alam niyo hindi lang po 'yun basta something that money can buy but the protection of God for, for our wealth is a big big blessing sa atin and I know and I believe that some of our financial increase comes when our finances are protected from the are, are protected and protection comes from the Lord so today I want to invite you that as we give to the Lord, let us give not just because it's part of the program, not just it's because you usually give this, but remember to honor God when we give today. Remember to honor Him with our wealth, with our giving today. I know some of us, we are giving because we love the Lord and that's one of the main reasons why we give. That's one of that's one of the things that God loves when we give. It's it's giving from the heart of God. It is it, it's, it's giving from our hearts to the Lord, you know. But I also do believe that when we honor God with our wealth, He honors us. When we honor God with our wealth, He also honors us. And nakakatawa po, no? it's our duty to honor the Lord. But yet, He promised that when we honor Him, He will bless us. Such a wonderful thing about our God. He is a good, good God. So as we leave right now, let's just close our eyes and pray. And um, haba po nakapikit yung mga mata natin, no? Except po natin yung puso natin na God, I'm giving because I want to honor you. So let, let us let's close our eyes and pray. God, we just thank you, God, for this time that we can worship 
and honor you through our giving. We pray, Lord, that you will be blessed sa pagbibigay po namin, Panginoon. We want you to know that you reign even in our finances, that you are our king even in our finances. Thank you, God, for allowing us to bless you and honor you through our wealth. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. So giving details are flashes on your screen. Have a happy giving and enjoy our work today. Magandang gabi po sa bawat isa. Welcome sa ating camp. Amen. Ayun. Ang saya na tayo po. Ang saya. Parang tatlo lang tayong masaya. No? Parang tatlo lang yung. Pwede mong palapakan natin sa Lord ngayon pong gabi na to. And, grabe. Kung alam nyo lang po. No? Hinintay natin itong uh, pagkakataon po na ito upang makapag gather together and uh, just have enjoy this camp. And masayang masaya po kami na kayo ay nag-sign up. Kayo po ay nandito. At hindi lamang po tayo nag, nandito kasi gusto lang natin na nang masabi, ah, nag-camp tayo, di ba? Na-enjoy natin tong Tagaytay. Sabi mo sa tabi mo, wow, taray, nasa Tagaytay. Okay. So, so ngayon, no, hindi lang natin gustong enjoyin ito pong panahon dito o yung, yung lugar. Pero ang gusto po natin enjoyin yung presence ni God. Amen? And makasama din yung mga family po natin dito. Yung mga kapamilya natin sa church. Pwede pala po kami yung katabi mo, sabi mo sa kanya, congratulations, nandito ka. Ayan. Huwag po kayo mag-alala kasi maya-maya lang po, no? kakain na po tayo. Uh, <laughs> Pero, sino po dito yung ano, um, excited ka talaga sa gagawin ni Lord? Come on. Sino dito yung gutom na? Ah, oh, wala pa. Ayan, okay. Praise God. Pwede pa ako mag-preach ng dalawang oras kasi wala pa namang gutom dito. I wanna share on this topic na Seeking the Lord. Sabi nga natin, seeking the Lord. Okay? Why do we need to seek God? Bakit po tayo merong um, ganitong layunin o ganitong pakay ngayon pong oras na to? Or for these two days, we wanna seek God. Alam niyo po sa church po natin, di ba once a month nag-gather tayo in person for the past six months. Nagagather tayo in person ng once a month lang and all, all the other weeks, online lang po tayo. Kasi nga, because of the pandemic, um, marami tayong adjustments na ginawa. But now, we get to gather once a month and we praise God for that. Merong gathering in person, merong online gathering, merong mga online cell groups, merong mga in-person cell groups. Talagang, ano na, uh, new normal na talaga yung ginagawa po natin. Tingnan mga katabi mo kung mukha siyang normal. Medyo, no? At least, kahit pa paano, mukhang normal pa naman. Pero yung normal natin ngayon, iba na, kakaiba na. So we have yung once a month gathering, we have online gathering, meron tayong online cell group, in-person cell group. Pero lagi kong ini, i, uh, tinatanong sa mga leader natin, ano yung pinakamahalaga sa lahat? Yung online, yung in-person, yung gathering ba na once a month, o yung, once, uh, uh, yung every week na... Nag-Facebook live tayo. Ano ba yung mahalaga? Ang sagot dito, mga kapatid, is yung araw-araw na buhay natin ng pagsuko sa Panginoon, pagsunod sa Panginoon, pag, you know, seeking God in our lives daily is so important. Hindi ko po alam kung meron dito ang uh, nagdi-devotion, nagbabasa ng Bible nila, and you have your journal, you write down notes, you take notes nung ano may mga sinabi sa'yo ni Lord, ano yung mga verses na nag-struck sa'yo, di ba? We, we, uh, it's a common practice for Christians. So maybe ngayon, hindi lahat ginagawa ito, but sa atin, we encourage everyone to do this daily devotion, daily seeking of God in your life. So tawagin ko lang, ang isang magte-testify sa atin ngayon pong uh, oras na to, si Brother Lito, he just wanna, wanna tell us a little bit about... Seeking the Lord in His life. Okay po, ito po. Ayan. Tag-isa po tayo. Okay. Grabe Ready po. po. Mangaraling na po kami. <laughs> okay, sige. Brother Litz. Ayan. Uh, grabe. 
napakasarap po ng, ng topic na to na Seeking the Lord. Then I remember, nung time na wala pa akong opportunity na magsalita sa harapan nyo, na nagde-date pa lang kami may one-on-one ni Pastor Binon, tapos tinuturuan niya ako na, o oh, ano, paano, ba, paano ka magde-devotion, ganyan. And I remembered na yung mga panahon na yon, he would challenge me na i-email mo sa akin yung mga devotion mo. Diba? Yung parang inisip ko, i-email, tapos babasahin kaya niya, yun o hindi. Diba? Yung may, meron kasi ganun, di ba mga professor, akala mo, papasubmit sa'yo, pero ang totoo, hindi naman nila. Pero nagugulat ako kasi, Pastor B is reading through my devotion. And hanggang ngayon, sabi sa akin ni Pastor B, nandun pa sa email niya yung mga devotion ko na yon. And nakakatawa po kasi in, in those time na hindi ko pa naiintindihan kung ano talaga yung sinasabi sa akin ni Lord. Isa sa mga bagay na tinuturo sa akin ni Pastor B doon is to just rely on the Holy Spirit. Kung ano yung gusto niyang sabihin sa'yo. Mahaba man yung, sina- yung binasa mo, isang buong chapter man, pero Sinasabi sa akin ni Pastor Bidon, pili ka lang nung isa yung talagang tumatak sa, sari, sa, sa puso mo. Na, bawa, binasa mo yung buong Matthew chapter 6. Tapos ang tumatak lang doon sa'yo, yung Matthew 6.33. Na, uh, but seek the, the kingdom of God and this righteousness and all these things shall be given unto you. So doon ka lang. Tapos, i, itanong mo sa sarili mo, paano ko ba ito apply sa buhay ko? Kasi yun naman yung purpose ng Bible eh. Hindi yung babasahin mo siya tapos, oh Lord, nabasa ko na. Kasi yung sila, si, si God is, sinisik natin siya kasi buhay siya. Andin yung guidance niya everyday to us na minsan yung problema natin, nakala natin walang solusyon, pero hindi natin alam yung solusyon pala nabasa na natin sa mga devotion natin. Na pag binalikan mo yung next year mo, Or, yung, or rather, yung last year mo ng devotion mo dun sa Matthew 6, iba na yung tatatak sa puso mo, hindi na yung seek the kingdom and his righteousness. Ibang verse na. So, napakaganda na sinusulat mo din yung iyong devotion. Diba? And ngayon, just want to share, uh, I'm, we are having a couple's devotion. Wow. Oo, uh, hindi lang po kaming dalawa mag-asawa, but it's together with Lynn and Dan. Hindi man siya mahaba pero every day we 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 make it a point na meron kaming mapadalang kahit isang verse na tumatak doon and ilagay namin ano yung natutunan namin tapos prayer kasi meron po kaming pinagpe-pray and pinagpa-fast at the same time. So napakaganda po nung 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 topic na i-discuss natin ni ni Pastor B and I'm always excited to No more about this seeking of the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Amen. B. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Salamat po, Brother Leeds. Palapahan po natin as Brother Leeds, oh, yan, ng uh, Moonwalk chapter. Hindi, saka na po. <laughs> Napakaganda ng ginagawa po ng Lord sa buhay po ng bawat isa sa atin. No? And alam niyo po, nang si Brother Leeds pumunta siya sa church, yung, when he started to come to church, um, marami siyang natin ng church before. So, hindi pa siya isang church lang natin niya. But eventually, he found you know, yung sarili niya na magstay sa Unbound, no, sa UCC, because I, 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 I told him na, Brother Litz, you have to make a choice. Darating yung panahon na you have to make a choice where you want to be planted. And yung, yung, yung paggawa ng choice po na yun, it doesn't happen just one day. Our journey with God, no, day by day to, it's a process na nangyayari. And habang lalo mong sinisik God, lalo sinisik si God, lalo niya ipapakita sa'yo ano yung nais niya talaga para sa buhay mo. So I believe eventually, he was convinced in his heart, this is the church for him. And hanggang sa ngayon, nakita natin, di ba kung nanonood po kayo ng mga online services natin, si Brother Leeds nagpipreach na. Palapakan natin si Lord yung sa ginagawa ni Lord sa buhay ni Brother Lito. And um, he is just, you know, he just loves God so much. Siya po actually ang sekretary ng church po natin. No? Uh, napaka masigasig sa kanya pong uh, tasks and, and, and we believe that because of this diligence um, in what he's doing for the Lord, the Lord will develop and grow his life even more. And may kita mo naman yung effect eh. Bakit? Right now, sa camp na to, his family is here. Palapaan natin si Lord dun. 
And uh, that's a great testimony. Na, na-imagine mo ba na darating yung araw na ikaw mismo na nandito, nakikinig ka lang ngayon, pero maybe uh, next year or or uh, on the following months, magte-testify ka na kasama mo yung family mo nag-worship kay God. Sabay-sabay kayo sinasabi niya, all I need is you, Jesus. I came here for you, Jesus. Imagine that if yung buong pamilya po natin are all seeking God. I want to share this word kasi naniniwala po ako if the church really seeks God, they will find God. It's not that God is lost. Ang problema is our attention is lost. Si God lagi naman siyang available. Naniniwala ko ang Diyos marami pong pangungusap sa bawat isa sa atin. Pero tayo ang madalas not available. May mga pagkakataon, di ba, sa messenger, ilalagay mo yung status na BC o kaya uh, unavailable. Bakit mo kailangan ilagay yun? Kasi ayaw mo merong gumambala sa'yo. Tama po ba? Nag-Facebook ba kayo? <laughs> Ako lang ba nag... So we are seeking God. We are making a decision na habang tayo po yung nandito sa ating pong camp, makakatagpo natin ng Panginoon. I don't know how God is gonna speak to you, but I know that He will. I don't know how God will touch your heart, but for sure, He will make a way. Kanina pa lang sa worship, meron ang ginagawa si Lord eh. Kanina pa lang doon sa yung worship team, di ba? Kita mo, namamali-mali sila ng chords. Bakit? Nahihipo na sila ni Lord eh. Nata sila... <laughs> Nagkakamali sila ng chords sa gitara. Bak- Lord, ikaw na ba yan? <laughs> Lord... <laughs> Pero pag sinisik mo si God, hindi ka magugulo ng kahit na ano. Di ba? Pag sinisik mo si God, hindi mo, ah, sino ba yung umiiyak? Di ako maka-worship. <laughs> hindi, wala ka nang pakialam doon. Pero when you're seeking God, it's kahit na tayo magkakasama dito, family camp, still, gusto ni Lord, solo pa din niya ikaw. Gusto niya, individually, we will make that decision, I wanna encounter God today. After po ng session po na to, syempre kakain tayo. After natin kumain, babalik tayo dito, mag-worship tayo. We're gonna have our worship night. It's gonna be a ministry night where I believe ipagpe-pray tayo or uh, talagang all together we'll just lift up the name of Jesus and napaka-powerful noon. Because the word of God tells us that when when the when the when the name of Jesus is lifted up, he draws men unto him. Pag itinataas yung pangalan ng Diyos, sa mismo yung naglalapit sa atin sa kanya. And all that we need to do is to lift up His name, is to lift up Jesus. Kaya wala tayong ibang pangalan na itinataas sa lugar po na ito. Hindi po pastor, hindi po pangalan ng simbahan, kundi ang Panginoong Jesus lamang. Amen? So we are seeking the Lord. Are you ready to seek God right now? Manalangin tayo saglit. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Speak to us. In this place. In Jesus' name. Amen. Unang bagay na gusto ko pang ishare sa inyo when it comes to seeking God is when you seek God, you have to take a rest. Take a rest. We take a rest by removing the rest and keeping the best. What is the rest? Ano ba yung mga bagay sa buhay natin? Ano ba yung mga pinagkabisihan mo for the past weeks? Ano ba yung pinagkabisihan mo sa mga nakaraang araw? Mayroong iba na pumunta po dito ngayon because you've taken, or you have to take a leave just to be here. So meron ka talagang iniwan. Meron kang itinabi para ibigay ang sarili mo sa Panginoon. Kung yung katabi mo yan, sabi mo sa kanya, it's worth it. Diba? It's worth it. May namis ka na online class, Di ba? Di ka naman talaga nakikinig eh. Ay, joke lang. Pero, <laughs> alam niyo po, may mga teacher pala dito, sorry po. <laughs> Pero di ba, mga kapatid, we are allowing ourselves to have some time to take a rest from the rest of the world to give our time, to give our best to God. Amen? Baka pagod ka na sa work. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo, makang pagod. Tingnan mo yung eye bugs niya. May kita mo kung gano'ng katagal yung overtime niya. Meron dito mga nagtatrabaho. Ang daming overtime. Puro OT pero puro TY din. Overtime overtime pero wala namang overtime pay. 
I don't... Bakit ganun? But when you spend time with God, kaya nga, you know, si David sabi niya, better is one day in the house of God, in the, in the courts of the Lord, than a thousand elsewhere. Mas gusto ko pa kahit na isang araw lang. Mas okay to kaysa sa ibang, sa ibang lugar. I, I spend my time with other things. And this is the best thing that you've done this week. This is the best thing that you've done this week to st- spend your time with God. To give your best to God. Pwede ba yung ibigay po natin sa Lord ngayon habang nandito tayo sa camp is our, un- our, our undivided attention. Undivided attention. Pwede ba yun? Yung talagang kay Lord lang yung isip mo, yung kay, kay Lord lang yung puso mo, wala ka munang ibang aalalahanin na kahit na anong bagay. So when we look at this, take a rest. Bakit? Dahil pagod is real. Isaiah 40, verse 28, basahin po natin. Have you not known, have you not heard, the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. Ang Diyos daw, hindi napapagod. Ang Diyos daw, hindi siya nahihimatay sa pagod. Ang Diyos hindi siya nanghihina. Eh, ba- bakit mayroong ano, on, di ba, on the seventh day, God took rest, nagpahinga siya. Bakit siya nagpahinga? Napagod ba siya sa krenate niya? No. He was setting that time of rest to show us an example of how we must live our lives. He was giving us a pattern na yes, you are supposed to work, you are supposed to create, but you're not supposed to give your everything to that and not have time for rest. Kailangan mo ng pahinga. Hindi ko alam kung, kung sino yun, pero baka meron dito, ang nasa isip mo, every other week, gusto ko na mag-resign. Gusto ko na talaga mag-resign. Pero di ka makapag-resign. Bakit? Bermans na. Malapit na yung December. Kaya, <laughs> kaya huwag muna. Di ba? Kapit lang hanggang sa maibigay yung... <laughs> Yan, dyan kayo magaling sa bonus. Si God, He does not faint. He is not weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. So if you are weak at this moment, if you are feeling sa mga oras na to, nangihina ka, napapagod ka, this is the perfect place for you. This is the perfect place for you because right here, He's gonna give power to the weak. And to those who have no might, He increases strength. Parang ako lang excited. Ano ba? Dahil ba English? Kaya di tayo ma-excite? Okay. Pinalalakas ka ng Diyos. Okay. Ano na? Binibigyan ka niya ng kakaibang kapangyarihan. Ayan. Yung mga pagod na, yung mga nanghihina na gusto kang bigyan ng Diyos ng kakaibang level. English na naman eh. Ka- level? Hindi. Kakaibang, kaka- antas, baitang, hindi na pwede. No? Basta palalakasin ka ni Lord. <laughs> Amen. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Kung sino daw yung marunong maghintay, marunong maging patient, sino daw yung handa na manatili, because you cannot wait if you can't stay. Di ba? Yung taong kayang manatili, yun yung taong kayang maghintay. Ang hindi kayang maghintay, hindi mananatili. Tama po ba yun? So tayo, we are willing to wait. Maybe later we're gonna be singing this song yung, Lord, I will make room for you. Di ba? Lord, I will make room for you to do whatever you want to. But natin sinasabi kay Lord yun. And, and if you actually mean that, na Lord, I will make room for you, Handa ka ba na kapag ang Diyos binuksan yung puso mo, nakita niya, wow, ang gulo ng room mo. <laughs> Tapos God starts to pick out some stuff and say, anak, ba't nandito yan? Anak, ba't may ganyan dyan sa puso mo? Bakit may galit? but may bitterness? Bakit may hopelessness? Why are all these things there? Ay, Lord, there's no more room 
for you. <laughs> Nahiya ka na ngayon, buksan yung puso mo kay Lord. But we are making this decision, God. I will make room for you. In fact, I've given you this Saturday and tomorrow Sunday. Do whatever you want to. Ikaw ang bahala, Panginoon. Anong gusto mong gawin sa mga buhay namin? Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Kung hindi ka makapaghihintay, hindi ka mapalalakas ng Panginoon. Kung magmamadali ka, wala, umiyak na sila, kundi... But, <laughs> diba? Hindi ganun eh. Hindi naman to sa ano eh, paiyakan eh. Hindi naman to sa... Si tita tumong ba na? <laughs> Walang ganun. Hindi, hindi tayo mag... Uh, Di ba? Pati, tumbay mo nga ako. <laughs> Di ba? Para masabi ko na ano, sulit talaga yung camp. Yung iba, hindi sulit yung camp pag di ka tumumba. Eh, wrestling ka kaya namin. <laughs> Di ba? Pero eh, wala yun sa tumbay. Nandun yun sa desisyon ng tao. Nasa desisyon po natin na isuko yung sarili natin sa Panginoon. Kasi kahit magtumba-tumba ka pa, sa sobrang tumba mo, lumabas ka pa sa pinto, <laughs> grabe naman yun. Napaka-anointed naman nung nag-pray sa'yo. Kasi pray sa'yo si Goku. Pero, wala eh. Kasi minsan yung iba, they're so overwhelmed by feelings, but they're not really willing. May mga tao na, alam mo yun, ang sarap sa feeling. Pag yung mga tao tinanong mo, galing ka sa camp, anong nangyari? Masaya ba? Sarap sa feeling. Nag-church ka, ano nangyari? Anong sabi sa word? Sarap sa feeling. <laughs> Puro ganun yung sagot, masarap sa feeling. And it seems like all that matters to us right now is just feelings. Pero ang tanong dito, are you willing? Gusto mo bang mag-feeling or are you really willing to encounter God? Are you really willing to wait on the Lord so He can renew your strength? And sabi dito, hindi niya lang, basta nire-renew yung strength natin. When your strength is renewed, sabi, you shall mount up with wings like eagles. Pag nabago yung strength natin, merong paglipad na gagawin ng Diyos sa buhay po natin. And merong pagtakbo, meron ding paglakad. So ibig sabihin po na ito, huwag mong pansinin kung ano yung pace ng iba. Kung may lumilipad na, kung may tumatakbo na, may lumalakad na, basta importante, you let God move you. Because really, it, it may be, hindi naman talaga tayo on the same pace all the time, at the same level of faith in every season. May mga pagkakataon talaga na minsan, mayroong palili pa rin ang Diyos, pero minsan may, may gagawin ng Diyos na kailangan kanyang patakbuhin, mabilis yung promotion na gusto niyang gawin sa'yo, yung instruction na binigay niya sa'yo, you need, you need to run, to do it. Pero meron naman ding iba, you just have to walk. You just have to take it day by day, step by step. Kasi ang Diyos, di naman siya nagmamadali. Take a rest. Sino yung ready na magpahinga? Number two is take the window. Take the window. Bago mo tanggalin yung bintana, Hindi nila nag Take the window. Okay, merong window. Merong specific time. Contrary to popular, to, to common belief, na hindi, anytime pwede. Pero sabi sa Isaiah 55, Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call on Him while He is near. Let the wicked man forsake his own way and the unrighteous man his own thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have compassion and to our God for he will freely pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways. My ways declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. I love what it says here sa Isaiah 55 na merong timeline, merong time frame, merong window of opportunity na binibigay si God. So if you are here, dito po sa camp, ngayong oras na ito, itong Saturday, Sunday na ito, I believe this is a window that God has opened for us. It's an event that God allowed to happen 
para sa iyo specifically kaya gusto niya na nandito ka because there is something na gusto niyang gawin sa buhay mo na habang nandito ka pwede niyang pangyarihin na nagets mo ba natin yun? There's something that He wants to do with you. And you have to take that window, that moment, that time. Don't let it pass. Don't let it slip away. So huwag mong hayaan yung sarili mo na in the middle of the camp, you get distracted by something, you get offended by something, or whatever, na distract ka. Kasi may bata sa likod ko. <laughs> Don't let anything distract you. Whatever God is speaking to you right now, grab it. Take a hold of it. Baka meron dito matagal na that you, ha- you have attended a camp. Meron kang mga memories na noon, nagkakamp ako, ang saya, enjoy. Baka nga yung iba kasi nga, pag sinabi mong camp, usually, mga youth. So nung youth ako, nakapagkamp ako, nag-enjoy ko si Lord, ganyan. But it's all just a memory now. Pero siya sabi ni God na right now, right here, hindi ito tungkol sa edad. Hello? It's not about the age. But it's about the availability. It's about the willingness. It's about the attitude. Ano yung attitude natin towards God? Gano ka ba kauhaw para sa Panginoon sa oras na ito? Merong... <laughs> Pardon man... <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> diba yung, yung, yung mga bata, no? when, when they want something, they just say it. When they want to get something, they just speak it. But tayo sa atin, Lord, I, I want you. <laughs> Nahiya ako, pero <laughs> I want more of you, God, in my life. Bakit ka nahiya? Bakit ka natatakot na sabihin? Bakit ka nahihiya na itaas yung kamay mo? Bakit ka nahihiya na sambahin ang Diyos with all that you are, with all of your heart? Hindi ito yung lugar kung saan dapat kang mahiya. In fact, walang lugar na dapat kang mahiya sa pagsamba mo sa Panginoon. This is something that we're supposed to be proud of. That this is, this is our God and He is the one that we serve. He's the one that we worship. And sabi po dito mga kapatid, You seek the Lord while He may be found. Again, wag mong paglagpasin yung pagkakataon. Wag mong bitawan yung paghawak sa'yo ng Diyos. And when he, when he calls you, when He is near, sabi dito, you have to make a decision. If you feel that in your heart there is wickedness, forsake your old ways. Leave behind what you need to leave behind. Let go of what you need to let go. Kasi naniniwala ako, when, when the presence of God is there, hindi makakapanatili yung presensya ng kaaway. Eh. Hindi pwede silang magsama together. Dito sa lugar na ito, naniniwala ako, the enemy will have to leave. The enemy will have to go. The devil will have to let you go. Because of the presence of God. Because of the blood of Jesus. Sabi dito, His thoughts are not our thoughts. Yung isip ng Diyos, hindi pareho sa atin. Yung logic ng Diyos, iba sa logic natin. Yung katayuan ng Diyos, iba sa katayuan po natin. So dito, sinasabi sa atin, pagtiwalaan natin kung ano yung mga plano ng Diyos. Doon sa verse 8, yung, His thoughts are not my thoughts. So I have to trust His thoughts. I have to trust His plans for me. Kailangan ko pagtiwalaan ko ano yung nais niyang gawin sa buhay ko. E pangalawa, heavens are higher than the earth. It is reminding us of our position. That our God is, is a holy God. Our God is from heaven. And we are of the earth. We are currently, nandito tayo sa earth, but we belong to God. We are for God. Pero pinapakita dito, nire-remind tayo of how we must humble ourselves before God. Paano tayo magpapakumbaba sa Panginoon? Ang Diyos ba ang dapat sumunod sa atin? Ang Diyos ba ang dapat 
gumawa ng mga bagay sabi natin, Lord, gawin mo to, Lord, gawin mo yan. I mean, He is God. Meron sa mga pangako sa buhay natin, tapat sa Kapag tayo nananalangin, nakikinig sa Pag tayo ay meron mga pangangailangan, sumasagot sa Pero we have to look at ourselves and our relationship with God. Sino bang nasusunod? Talaga dapat. Ako ba o si Lord? So you have to take the window. God will open a window for you. And I believe when He opens His window to us, the windows of heaven, blessing comes down sa buhay natin. Maybe this is a reminder sa bawat sa atin na wag po kayong mag-alala sa kung ano man ang mga naiwan nyo sa bahay ngayon. Wag po kayong mag-alala sa kung sino man ang mga hindi nyo po kasama sa oras po na ito. The Lord will bless us. The Lord will be with us. But at the same time, naniniwala po ko, He will not let any harm happen sa mga hindi man natin kasama sa oras po na ito. He will also protect the ones that we love habang tayo patuloy na sinisik si God natitiwala sa Panginoon. You take the window and number three, take His call. Take His call. Baka meron dito minsan, sasabi natin, minsan tumatahag naman ako kay Lord. Sinisik ko naman si God but parang hindi ko sa marinig. Right now that you're here, I believe God is responding to you in such a special way Reminding you that right now, saan naman yung tumatawag sa'yo? So, wag mong i-drop yung call. Na-experience na ba yun minsan? Tawag ka ng tawag. Ngayari, sweetie. Ba, hindi yung nasagot ah. Hindi sumasagot. Tawag ka ng tawag. Hindi sumasagot. Tapos nung sanay yung tumatawag, wala ka dyan. <laughs> Ayaw mo na sagutin. Kasi kanina ka pa tumatawag. Tapos, sometimes, I feel like we do this to God. So may mga pagkakataon minsan na we, we are crying out to God and we feel, tandaan po natin, we feel, feeling natin. And our feelings, hindi laging totoo yung feelings natin. Marami mga pagkakataon, you feel something but it's not the truth. It's just a feeling. So, feeling mo hindi kasi nasagot ng Diyos. But now, He's calling you ang tanong, Sasagot ka ba o magtatampo ka? E the drop mo ba yung call or you will take the call of God? Si Lord, maraming tinawag sa Bible and one of which is Abraham. Abram pa yung pangalan niya noon in Genesis 12. Sabi po dito, Genesis 12 verse 1, The Lord said to Abram, Abram pa siya, hindi pa sa Abraham, Leave your country, your people, leave your father's family, and go to the country that I will show you. I will build a great nation from you. I will bless you and make your name famous. People will use your name to bless other people. I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who curse you. I will use you to bless all the people on earth. Tinawag ni God si Abram. Anong ginawa ni Abram after noon? Did he follow? Kung may kita niyo po dito, Sa pagtawag ng Diyos kay Abraham, meron siyang binanggit na parang pag sumunod ka, ito yung mga mangyayari. Ito yung mga benefits. Pero wala kang makikita dito specifically of a place that God told him to go to. San ba sa gustong dalhin ng Diyos? Sabi dito, umalis ka sa bahay ng iyong ama, pumunta ka dun sa lugar o sa country na ipapakita ko sa'yo. Eh, ipapakita pa lang niya pag dumating doon. So yung iba, syempre, tayo, pwede mong isipin, gusto ko sigurado yung pupuntahan. Bakit tayo aalis? Hindi pa nga tayo sigurado kung saan tayo pupunta eh. Imagine kung nagsabi tayo, magkakaroon po tayo ng camp. Okay, September 3 and 4. Join po tayo. Tapos, 3 and 4 na. Walang, saan po yung venue? Basta tara, sakay na kayo sa mga van nyo, 
bahala na kayo. I will build a great nation from you. I will bless you and make your name famous. People will use your name to bless other people. I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who curse you. I will use you to bless all the people on earth. Kung iisipin po natin, no, sapat ba yun? Sapat bang dahilan yung mga ipinangako ng Diyos para mapaoo si Abram? Ano bang klaseng relasyon meron si Abram at ang Diyos na ganun na lamang yung kanyang pagsunod? Can you imagine that? Anong klaseng relationship dapat meron ka sa isang tao para masabi na sasama ka sa kanya kahit hindi mo pa alam kung saan ka pupunta, kung saan kayo talaga pupunta. Di ba? Surprise! Basta sumama ka na lang, di ba? Meron ka mga kaibigan ganun, naniniwala po ako, meron tayong mga kapamilya na ganun, na basta pag sila yung nagsabi, hindi, okay lang yan, sige, sasama ako, kasi may tiwala naman ako sa kanya eh. Tama po ba? So I believe the relationship is built on trust. There is trust, and because there is trust, there is faith. May pananampalataya si Abram. And faith is trusting the nature and the character of God. At kung maintindihan niyo po dito, no, si Abram, yung tatay niya po, si Tera. Si Tera, iba ang Diyos na sinasamba niya. Meron siyang diyos josa na sinasamba. Eh sabi ng Diyos kay Abram, umalis ka dyan sa tahanan ng tatay mo. So it is not just about leaving his father, it was rejecting other gods and focusing on this one true God. Pag tumalun po tayo sa book of Hebrews in the New Testament, Hebrews 11, may kita natin kung ano yung response ni Abraham. Kasi makikita po natin sa Genesis, ano yung instruction. Pero sa Hebrews 11, verse 8, andun yung response niya. Paano siya sumunod? By faith. Sabihin nga natin, by faith. One more time, by faith. Okay? Hindi sinabi dito na by assurance. Hindi sinabi dito by insurance. Hindi sinabi dito na by persuasion. Sabi dito by faith. Nanampalataya siya. When called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went without knowing where he was going. Plainly, sinabi dito, hindi alam ni Abraham kung saan siya pupunta, pero by faith, sumunod siya. Meron dito, naniniwala ko, tatawagin ka ng Diyos, mangungusap ang Diyos sa'yo in this whole camp. Maybe later after we pray, ito, malapit na tayo matapos sa word na to. Magpe-pray tayo, maybe God will speak something to you. Pagkain natin mamaya, baka may sabihin sa'yo si Lord. And maybe later on, sa, sa worship night natin, you encounter God in such a powerful way, He speaks to you. And sometimes when He speaks to us, hindi lang sometimes, many times, pag nangusap ang Diyos sa atin, maraming pagkakataon, hindi natin naiintindihan lahat. Pero kailangan mo lang magtiwala. Kailangan mo lang sumunod. Kaya sinasabi natin, you have to take the call. Kasi, di ba, kanina sabi natin, take a rest. Pero hindi ka lang naman magpapahinga para sa wala eh. Sa Pilipinas ka lang naman makakakita nung tambay na, tas pagod na pagod pa eh. Di ba? Pero dito sa atin, we take a rest because we wanna do something after. Kasi we believe in purpose. We believe na kaya tayo pinagpahinga kasi meron tayong gagawin. Meron tayong mission, meron tayong pupuntahan. Diba pag alam mo po na meron kang mahalagang gagawin kinabukasan, you wanna make sure na kompleto yung tulog mo, maayos yung pahinga mo, para bukas handa ka sa gagawin mo. Tama po ba? So, eto pong camp, kung nasaan tayo ngayon, we don't want this to be just another event na kung saan emotionally, na-stir up tayo, nag-enjoy tayo, napulo tayo ng, you know, feel good feelings. Ang sarap mag-worship, ang enjoy. Pero I pray na hindi tayo tumigil doon 
But to really take His call, answer the call of God over your life, that you will actually do something after this. Na hindi after nung camp natin, sana camp na lang lagi, no? <laughs> Ang saya, no? Ah, sana camp na lang lagi. O tapos, anong gagawin natin kung camp pa lagi? I mean, masaya naman. Pero for what? If we're not doing what God has called us to do. Sabi ni God kay Abraham, I will bless you to be a blessing. So God gives us rest because after this, He wants you to give your best to His call over your life. Basahin natin po patuloy. Verse 9. By faith, He dwelt in the promised land as a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward. Sabi nyo nga, looking forward. At ganun po tayo, looking forward. Because we want to move forward. To the city with foundations, whose architect and builder is God. I want to look forward to that kind of life na yung architect at yung builder ay si God. Kasi alam ko, pag si God yung bumuo, pag si God yung architect, perfect yung plano, matiba yung foundation, yung buong structure, hindi magigiba kasi Diyos ang bumuo. I believe that's what God wants to do sa mga families natin. Some of the parents here are struggling para yung pamilya nila maibangon, maigapang sa pag-aaral. Ba't kailangan igapang sa pag-aaral? Pwede namang lumakad ng maayos. <laughs> Ang, ang hilig natin minsan eh, na i-romanticize, i- i- gusto natin yung dramatic, yung ating mga eksena sa buhay. But if you would only have faith, if you would only have faith and believe that God is building your life, God is the architect of your life, wala kang dapat ipag-alala. Ako po, naniniwala po ako, tinawag ako ng Lord na magpastor. Ay kung naniniwala ako na tinawag ako ng Diyos para magpastor, naniniwala ako, hindi pa babayaan ng Diyos yung pamilya ko. Amen? I don't earn as much as I used to. Ngayon na, na ako po'y pastor, pero naniniwala ako, God will provide for our every need. For the past days, yung, yung anak namin, nagkakalagnat, magiging okay, lalagnatin na naman. I can choose to worry. I can choose to have fear. And I can choose to just say, um, Reg, uh, Pastora Reg, kaya nyo na yan. <laughs> May lagnat si Banner. <laughs> Kailangan namin ng... Uh, di ba? I mean, I can say that, but I know my God. I know that He's the architect. I know that He's the builder. I know that He's the God that I'm serving. Na kung, kung tayo nga eh, meron tayong mga employer na pinagkakatiwalaan natin, oh, ano ba yung benefits ng company ninyo? Oh, maganda yung ano nyo, ha? HMO ninyo. Ha? Ang sarap magkasakit. Ha? <laughs> Kahit sa ang hospital, pwede. Ha? Dentista, pwede. St. Peter, pwede. <laughs> Di ba? Nagahanap ka nung ang gaganda ng benefits. Eh. Pero si God, ang ganda-ganda ng benefits, minsan di mo pinapansin. Sabi ni God, I will, bl- I will build a great nation from you. Sinong company magsasabi nun sa'yo? Iha-hire ka namin, ha? Pag-hire namin, ito gagawin namin, I will build a great nation from you. Walang ganun. I will, I will make your name famous. <laughs> May ganun ba na company? Wala. But si God, He gives this to us. He shows us this is the kind of life that He can give us the potential of the life trusting in God. A life anchored on God. A life lived by faith. Kung sasagot ka lang sa tawag ng Diyos. Nakita niyo po ba to? Bakit to magiging pastor? Itong gantong itsurang to? Itong gantong ugali? Magiging pastor... Bakit magiging pastor to? Because God chooses the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. 
Nung naisip ni Lord yung mga foolish, naisip niya ako. <laughs> foolish yan, tawagin yan. Foolish man. <laughs> Tingnan niyo ang corny, di ba? Pero, tinawag ng Diyos. Bakit tinatawag tayo ng Diyos? Not because we are perfect, but because He knows what He can do through our lives if we trust in Him. Tayo po tayo sa oras po na ito. I pray that you get the fullness of this message by letting God speak to you. Basahin ko pong patuloy yung Hebrews 11. Sa so verse 10, as verse 11, sabi dun, by faith si Sarah, pati yung asawa niya, asawa ni Abraham, even though she was barren, baog, di magkaanak, beyond the proper age, matanda na, imposible ng magkaanak, was enabled to conceive a child because she considered him faithful who had promised. And so from one man, sabi nyo nga po, one man, and he as good as dead came descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sand on the seashore. From one man. Maybe right now in this place, meron dito, nandito ka, ikaw ang nag-iisa na nandito, pumunta, representative ng family mo. Or maybe you're not a man, you're a woman. From one woman, there will be descendants numerous as the stars. There will be many things, countless blessings as the sands on the seashore na kayang gawin ng Diyos mula sa buhay mo. Nag-iisa ka, pero mula sa'yo, maaraming, maaaring lumabas mula sa Panginoon na pagpapala para sa henerasyon na to. Para sa komunidad kung nasaan ka, para sa pamilya mo. If you will answer His call, if you will take a rest, take the window, answer His call. Panginoon, sa oras po na ito, kami po eh, narito, nagtitiwala sa iyo na hindi nagkataon na kami ay narito sa camp na to, but tinawag mo kami upang pumarito at marinig ang tinig mo. Tinawag mo kami pagkat may plano ka sa buhay ng bawat isa po sa amin. Tinawag mo kami pagkat ikay naniniwala sa mga bagay na kaya mong gawin sa mga buhay namin. Tinawag mo kami, hindi dahil kami perfecto, hindi dahil kami magaling. Tinawag mo kami dahil alam mong kailangan ka namin. Dahil na kahit na gano'n pa kami kagaling, kahit gano'n pa kami ka, ka, ka influential Lord, kung wala ka, walang saysay ang aming mga buhay, we will be left empty. But with you, there's real blessing. There's real satisfaction and fulfillment. Jesus, our mighty God, you are the architect and the builder of our life. Lord, ikaw ang nagbuo ng camp na to. Ikaw ang nagbubuo ng buhay namin. Ikaw ang nagbuo ng simbahan po na ito. Mangusap ka sa bawat isa. Show us how you want things to be done. Lord, ang isang bahay na binubuo, hindi niya naiintindihan yung blueprint, pero eventually makikita niya that everything has a purpose. So whatever we're going through in our lives, whatever we have gone through for the past years, we trust that you are the builder and the architect. Walang makapagpipigil sa anong nais mong buuin sa aming mga buhay. Can we just raise up our hands to God right now? If you believe na, Lord, ako yun. Kung tinawag mo ako, nandito ako, sasagot ako sa tawag mo. If that's you, with your hand raised up, I just want to pray for you, Lord. Speak to everyone with their hands raised high throughout this whole camp. Our hearts are open. Our minds are ready. Our spirit are awakened. Ikaw, Panginoon, ang aming kailangan. Ikaw ang ipinunta namin dito. We came here for you. Holy Spirit, speak to us. Holy Spirit, move our hearts. Holy Spirit, have your way in this place, in these two days, Lord. Have your way in our lives. We love you. We honor you. We glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen and amen. Palapakan po natin si Lord. Come on. The loudest 
that we can give God right now. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, tawag ka ni Lord. Amen. Tawag ka ni Lord. It doesn't matter what your age is. Bata ka, matanda ka, it doesn't matter. Tawag ka ni Lord. Amen. And thank you for being here. Thank you.